open back in. This is plastic gauge. So what it does is it tells you what the gap between the bearings and the crankshaft will be. So there we go, put that in there. Work it up. It's definitely the right one. These are half inch bolts, so it says seventy to seventy five pounds of torque. And my uh, new torque wrench is in newton meters, so you've got to convert it. So that's just around hundred. Torque it up. That's two, and then we take it off again. Sorry for the yappy dog in the background. That's all that does that dog bark all day. The right good kick up its uh, posterior. So what that should do, it squashes the plastic gauge. And uh, we can measure it with a chart we've got and it'll tell us what the gap is. The bigger the gap, the more oil you can get around. So. The centre bearing I've done it was at three thousandths, which may be slightly too big. But that's a lot of oil going round. More oil the better, really, I think. So that should have crushed up the plastic gauge. Yep. So that's flattened that out. What you do now is you take this card and you match it to the width and that's saying that's got 4 thousandths in it now so that's even bigger 3.5 maybe, no that's not far off that slightly bigger than that one it's about 3.5 3 I would say so I'll just clean that off and torque it up again You have to do a bit of research and see if that's too much. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do if it is. I'm using a lint free cloth so there's no detritus left in the engine. This stuff doesn't matter apparently if it's uh, in the engine, it's what it's oil soluble. It's looking good. I'll have to see if there's a new seal as well in the the kit for the front, um, there's a seal here for the sump and everything. The one that's on is not very good, but I can torque it up anyway because it'll not matter. It's perfect, nice and clean. There's a mark on that shell. It's probably just dirt. There's plenty of assembly lube on everything. Nice to go that way around. I'm going to keep a note of the sizes, so that's 3.5 and 3. are too big we'd have to get the crankshaft reground and then get the right size shells. 
really don't want to go to that expense. Smooth as a baby's bum, as they say. Lovely, jubbly. So we know that's 3.5, we know that's 3. We'll do the last main bear in there after supper, I think. This is the last main bear I'm putting in here. I've checked all the clearances and they're all around about three and a half thousandths of an inch on the mains. Two of the main shells have got scratches on them, so I think I'll probably buy another set and replace them. That's this one and this one, put, there. put them in for just now to hold everything in place and stop the dirt getting in. With the clearance, I don't think they would actually, there should be enough oil round about them to not have to worry about it really. I'll just start this up to the 70 to 75 pounds, which is about 100 newton meters. That's my new torque wrench. Let's check them out. I don't know, I had another torque wrench, but I wasn't sure if it was reading right, so I bought a new one from Clark or Machine Mark. There we go. We'll see how she spins. I'm uh, great faith in this uh, assembly lube. It makes everything so smooth and it's really sticky. So when you start the engine for a start, there's, there's no oil on the surfaces, but this stuff's there. So there is lubrication. Just to move you back a little bit. Till we see. See how she spins now, that's the five bearings in and it's just smooth as anything. Just no effort at all to turn that. It'll be a different story when all the gears are on and you're turning the oil pump, the camshaft and lifting rockers and everything. But that's all I'm doing for tonight I think. So our next job is you know, we've got this gasket here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to look for this seal. This one's not in the best shape. I'm not sure if it's in the kits. Uh, I think it's cork and rubber. It's a fancy thing. That's the front engine seal. The rear engine seal can go on afterwards because it can, it's on a plate that pushes into place. Uh, so the next job is check the ring gaps halfway down the bore and adjust them if necessary where you can file the ends and just make them slightly bigger if you need to. Hopefully they're right. And fit them to the pistons, fit the pistons, check the cornrad gaps with the plastic gauge again. Um, but we're going forward. So quite pleased with the way it's going. Still got a lot of cleaning to do, I'm just cleaning and then we can get, now we actually I can put the front plate on now actually. I've got baskets for it, but I'm not doing it. Tonight. And that's it.